guys, so while I was waiting in the queue, I collected a lot of things for my business and I wanted to share them with you of what I got. The first thing I got is this rack. So I got about eight or nine of these. I like the white and they're fairly easy to put together and they roll around. And I just think that they're pretty. I'm going for the whole shabby chic, white, clean look. I really don't think these will travel well. I would recommend getting, if you're gonna do a lot of in-home pop-ups, to go with the collapsible ones so you can actually put them in your car easier because they collapse down. And for my background, I've got this old door and I'm gonna put the mannequin in front of it or just hang a um, hanger off of it to take pictures. One of the things that I thought I would need to run my LuLaRoe business Dymo 4XL thermal printer. It came highly recommended, so I thought I would go ahead and get it to make shipping a little bit easier. And then you're also gonna need the paper that comes with it, so you have to buy that separately. The thing that I got that I'm actually currently using on this camera is the Joby Grip Tight Gorilla Pod. And I'm using it for my camera, but I mainly got it for my tablet that I'm going to be using. Hopefully using it on Periscope and Facebook Live sales. Thought that would come in handy. And it comes with the Gorilla Grip came with this attachment. The next thing I thought that I would need is a tagging gun. If the tags fall off, I'll be able to re-tag it and I'm gonna need one of these. Another thing that I got that a lot of people did not talk about is a steamer. If the clothes look wrinkled, I thought I would steam it to make the pictures look a little bit nicer. Then as far as shipping goes, I'm probably gonna use USPS and I'm gonna sign up for stamps.com, but if you go on USPS.com, you can actually order the flat rate mailers for free and they send it to you. I got a bunch of the flat rate mailers. I got the envelope one and I got the medium flat rate boxes. I think I'm going to use them a lot. And then I also got the um, poly mailer added flat rate two. And then if I'm not shipping a flat rate, I got the 10 by 13 poly mailers. And then to make my sh packages look nice, I chose pink tissue paper. Got these cute little thank you stickers showing backwards. Got these to separate the sizes. And I had these for my stores, so I probably will be upgrading these soon with more sizes too. So the coat check tags. So I recommend these. And another thing that I picked up is post-it notes to write people's names on. And I got the dollar store bins that everyone recommended. And as far as hangers go, plastic clear hangers. And then I'm using these plastic skirt hangers. So that's what I'm using right now. And I probably will have to get the children's when I invest in the children's line. But a lot of other people, here's wood hangers. And a lot of people also are getting these velvet hangers. Um, I use these for my personal clothes in my personal closet. So they work great. So if you need hangers, probably go with these or wood hangers, but I'm going to link the ones that I am using below in the description. Another thing you're going to need is obviously a computer. Another thing that I would really invest in in the beginning is a light kit to softbox lights. I have a deeper ring light and I have these mannequins. So this is one of the mannequins and you can wheel them around, and I like them, except for these these tops are kind of a pain in the butt and they always fall off. My husband hates them, but I think they're pretty. But I actually have them in every size. So I have large, larger one, and then on the back it like says what size they are. So this one's an 18, a 20 size and then I have a smaller size and I have two more over here and I recommend having all the clothes if you can on a mannequin so 
it just looks professional and if you're going to have an online business I recommend investing in the tools that you need to have a successful online business and make your pictures look nice. I know that LuLaRoe gives us the plastic bags. Here's my boutique shopping bags that I got and I got this little stand to put them on. If you wanted to see the Diva ring light, that's what that looks like. I recommend getting one of those if you can. They're a little pricey. And I'm actually using the soft box light. I don't know if you can see it, but here's another one. Here's the soft box light, and I have two of these. Now I thought it would be nice to use vintage suitcases to hold my leggings and also store them. So I went thrift store shopping and found a lot of vintage suitcases. So here they are, my vintage suitcases, and I think that they're cute. And another thing that I found is very helpful to have when sorting and hanging are um, laundry baskets. I loved laundry baskets when I had my store and I, I just actually got my in initial inventory today and I found myself taking everything out of the clear bags, putting it in laundry baskets to sort it and then hanging them up. So if you can go to like Walmart or wherever and get laundry baskets, I'd probably invest in those too. And I find in a nice bottle of Febreze because when women do try on the clothes or if they have perfume on or I don't know, you want to kind of like preserve your clothing and make sure it's nice and clean. So I would recommend getting Febreze and a lint roller. These are the things that I have invested in so far and I probably will not still need to get a scale and it's another thing that I'm going to get to need. But hopefully if I sign up for stamps.com or when I sign up for stamps.com I will get one for free but who knows definitely need to invest in a scale and I'm sure that's not that expensive. Another thing that I got, and I got this at um, home, home Goods, is a full length mirror. So I just got a white full length mirror. And right now I have things in front of it. But you'll definitely need a mirror of some sort. Another little mirror that I have that I picked up at the thrift store pretty much all I can think of right now of things that I've invested in. Um, I hope you like this video and I will try to leave everything in the description below and if you want to please join my shopping group. Follow my contact information below and if you have any questions feel free to reach out to me. I officially onboarded last week on the 31st and I got my initial inventory today. I'm excited to get started. If you're thinking about joining the row and you don't have a sponsor or working with anybody, please feel free to reach out to me. I am currently to build a team. And thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.